Hello, Sarah Emery from Concentris here. Today I am sharing a short and sweet tip for creating uh, auto-generated numbers that are subsidiary specific. So they include a prefix that is unique to the subsidiary that the transaction is being created within. This is extremely helpful if you have a lot of subsidiaries and want to be able to very easily identify which subsidiary a transaction resides in without having to actually go into the transaction record. So the starting point is the setup auto-generated numbers screen, which is accessible accessible under setup, company, auto-generated numbers. And if I click on document numbers, you'll see there is this column here for use subsidiary. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that for, let's do it on the invoice record. So I will save this. And then I will open up one of my subsidiary records to actually define what the subsidiary specific prefix will be. Okay, I will go to setup, company, subsidiaries. And just for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to select one single subsidiary, but theoretically you could set these up for every subsidiary in your structure. Okay, so we have here this box document pre number prefix. So this is already set up as HM, I'm not gonna change it. And if I wanted to have a different numbering convention, I could uh, actually set that up here. But for this purpose, I just want the document number prefix, which is fine. So now I am going to go to my invoice record. And as I start to enter a new invoice and the subsidiary gets designated based on the customer, it will automatically inject the HM document number prefix into the existing document number structure. So if there's already a structure or a document prefix that is being assigned at the company level, this will actually be injected in between the two. Let me go ahead and select a customer here. You can see here I have IN 0000506. And once I select my customer, You'll notice that it injects the HM because this customer is in the Huffman Manufacturing subsidiary. So hopefully you found that helpful. It is very, very helpful when it comes to trying to quickly identify which uh, transaction or which subsidiary a transaction resides in. So um, if you are dealing with a lot of subsidiaries, definitely take a look at this option. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.